frog hat. Originally, I was gonna make a video just for the frog hat, but then it took me ages to make the frog hat because I kept doing like half an hour on it and then putting it down for weeks and then doing another little bit on it and then putting it down again for weeks and I just don't feel like making a video that's just the frog hat so I'm just gonna chuck in some of the footage that I did take while I was making it here now. I'm finally starting um, to figure out my frog hat, how I wanna make my frog hat because for some reason I don't just look for a pattern, I have to figure it out for myself because why make things easy, huh? It's gonna be like a hood type of hat and then with like frog ears and little dangly bits. And I wasn't sure whether I should crochet the rows like this way or like this way. So I made some very tiny swatches. And these one is like, if I was gonna crochet them this way. And I just wanted to see, like, I don't know how it would look. So this is kind of, you know, you get an idea for how it would be. And then this is, if I was gonna crochet it this way, and again, see, look, it's like a little, like a little hood. <laughs> you kind of get get an idea of what it would look like. And I think I prefer this way. So yeah, now these are still attached to the ball of yarn so that I can just unravel these and use it because I'm thrifty and I wouldn't want to waste yarn on swatches. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm gonna unravel these and then figure out, well, actually I'm gonna measure this one first and figure out how many stitches I need to start. Is it? I was gonna say cast on. I don't think it's not casting on when it's crochet, is it? It's just making a chain. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna use this to figure out how many stitches I would need to fit on my head. I've been working on this just bit by bit and I did all these rows in double crochet and then I started to think that it just felt a bit too stiff so I did a few rows in half treble to see how that felt and I think that this is much better so it's time to frog it again. about this big now and I'm gonna loosely sew this like back piece together so that I can start seeing how big it is. and keep working on it. It's almost there. Need a few more rows. And I can keep working on it with it done up at the back. Because this is the edge that I'm crocheting and I still have access to that.
that's a hat, right? Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, I can't decide whether to give it like a nose or a mouth or anything. And I also want to do some sort of either tassels or like a closure or something down here. But I finally made some progress on it at least. It's been sat there for ages. Little froggy feet. Hop hop. Here is the finished frog hat. I mean, it's more of a hood than a hat, I guess. Cool, his little eyes stand up and he's got little nostrils and then I put these ties on the sun is right in my face I'm just like <laughs> and at the end of the ties there's these little froggy hands I have no idea if you can see them because I'm being blinded by the sun and you can tie it up So that it's cute and secure, and then you can take it down and just wear it like a hood. And it's just there. So if you're going in and out of places or in the house or something and you don't always want the hat on, it's just there, waiting, keeping your neck cosy. And then you can just be like, bam, frog hat. I can't remember the last time I went into HMV and bought a CD. This is very exciting. Very exciting. Look. There's a sticker on there. This paper feels so nice. I'm not normally that into glossy paper, but this is... how shiny it is but it feels really really nice like it's really soft Ooh, I love to touch things up this doily a little bit. Oh, I don't know if that's so overexposed I can you even see it. I'm gonna have to close the curtain. Okay that's a little bit better. Um yeah I'm making a little textile piece guy thing. I've patched up this doily. I love stuff like this, I just think it looks so nice. There was, I don't know if you can see, down here there was some holes and some thin bits, so I put a patch. The patch is a piece of old t-shirt, and then I just sewed it on, 
and where some of the lace had come apart. I've sewed that back together with colours. A little bit of pink in there. And I'm gonna, I've got some letter beads that I'm gonna sew onto here. This also is um, stained as well as broken. I think I showed it on here. I bought it from a charity shop not long ago for like 50p. And now I'm turning it into something, which is a very nice time. This is proper one of those things where there's that horrible little bit of my brain that's trying to be like, this is a waste of time. It's not something you're gonna be able to sell. You can't turn it into stickers or something. Ooh, what, what's the point? It's like the point is making stuff. <laughs>